Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're going to open up another one of these Topps 2020 Series 1 10s that you can find at Walmart, Target, um, maybe your local retailer. Um, you can see here in the channel, I've already opened up the Aaron Judge, the Vladdy Jr., and the Pete Alonzo on my channel. I found this uh, Mookie Betts one about a week or so ago, so I thought I'd open it up. Um, hope everyone's staying safe out there and doing what they can to stay healthy during the coronavirus outbreak we've got going on right now. So uh, my Walmart, I was just in there today. They didn't have any new cards. They don't even have Donruss. They don't have Gypsy Queen. They barely even have a few hanger boxes of Topps opening day. So I thought I would open up this one to satisfy you guys who are looking for some other card openings. Uh, you're probably fit, pretty familiar with these releases. In case you're not, let me put this sticker up here. We should get 75 cards. If there's a relic, we'll probably get less than 75. Um, you'll get one Decades Best Chrome insert. That's what kind of makes these a little bit special. Besides the fact that you've got the 10 that you can keep with kind of a collectible. We'll get five Turkey Red inserts and then one Chrome Turkey Red insert. Um, but I would imagine at this point a lot of you are already familiar with these products. So Mookie Betts is here on the cover. Um, obviously not with the Red Sox anymore, now with the Dodgers. And hopefully we'll be able to see him play in a Dodgers uniform at some point this summer or this fall. Um, otherwise, the Dodgers are going to possibly miss out on his services altogether um, because he will become a free agent after the year. So in case you are unfamiliar, the cards are packed in these tins, which you would feel like would make them more secure. But I have seen some cards a little bit nicked up in these, just like you might get cards nicked up in a, um, in a regular pack just hanging in the store. Those cards in the middle there are the turkey red. Does not look like... We have an insert. Kind of looks like one is already damaged. You see this one right here underneath the turkey red. It's got a little bit of a, got a little bit of a, I don't know, look maybe a ding on it. So here we go. We'll see what Mookie Betts has to offer. Um, so far, out of the three that I've opened here, um, the Vladdy I believe had a relic in it, a Charlie Blackman jersey relic, and that's the only kind of hit that I've received. Haven't pulled any autographs out of these yet. Let me go ahead and open the pack. Apologize about that. Extra noise while I'm opening the wrapper. Uh, we'll try to split it. We can see the chrome cards there. And we'll do this. Okay, so in case you're unfamiliar, there are six of these tins. So I've got one, two, three, four. There's still a Cody Bellinger one that I haven't opened yet. In fact, I haven't purchased it yet, but it is still hanging up at the store of my Walmart. And then there's a Mike Trout one. Um, but that one will obviously be a little bit more valuable. So here we go. Kyle Schwarber from Ohio. If you play MLB The Show, you're starting to recognize some of these photos. The photography they use on MLB The Show for PlayStation is the same photography that they use on these cards. There's Hector Neris celebrating. Looks like a save. Uh, we're going upside down for Andrew Benintendi. Hopefully he can have kind of a bounce back here this year. He was really good as a rookie and then kind of took a step back last year. Cesar Hernandez. Don't believe he's with the Phillies anymore. Could be wrong about that. Anthony Santander had a really nice year last year. Mike Fires, there he is, the whistleblower. Um, you heard maybe Evan Gaddis come out, or I don't say he really came out, but he uh, uh, retweeted a, a cup that's in going around in Houston that says snitches get stitches and has his face on it, like at a restaurant, which I thought was a little bit tacky and a little bit unnecessary, especially since Evan Gaddis is the one who was busted in the big John Boy video for... Um, um, getting the signs against Danny Farquhar whenever they figured it out while he, he was actually in the game. Here's David Peralta. We got Pineda, who's going to be serving that suspension whenever baseball resumes, if it resumes this year. Mitch Haniger got injured in the spring. Don't know about his availability right now. There's Juan Soto, had an awesome World Series. Tim Anderson, who won the batting title last year. And then Jose Abreu, who was the RBI leader for the American League. We got Glaber Torres hitting a home run off of somebody for Baltimore, it looks like. Uh, there's Garrett Cole, league leader. He was so good last year. This is for his league leading ERA, 2.5. Barely beat out his teammate, Justin Verlander. Haven't seen any rookies yet. We'll put those off to the side whenever we see him. Caleb Smith, who was very good last year for Miami. There's Scherzer after winning the World Series. Really glad to see him, Mad Max, get a World Series title. Emilio Pagan got traded. He believe he's on San Diego right now. Might, that might have been in the uh, Tommy Pham trade, I think, maybe. Here's our first rookie. I don't know a lot about this guy, Michael Brousseau, or Brosau. We'll put him off to the side over here. That's one rookie so far. 
Tyler White, who used to be on Houston, is now on the Dodgers. There's Dustin May. Look at that hair, man. I'm sure everyone says that whenever they pull his card. Um, I don't know if he's actually going to start in the rotation or was scheduled to start in the rotation this year. I feel like they were going to maybe use him out of the bullpen, or he might have been in the running for the number four or number five starter. That's one of the nice ones. We'll put him right there. We have two rookies so far. Hunter Dozier had a nice breakout year. Former first-round pick for Kansas City. Nico Horner, there's another rookie. He came up last year kind of out of necessity after everyone was getting hurt and they needed someone to play second base. Um, and so they called him up from double-A. I don't think he ever even played a game in triple-A. I could be wrong about that. Some of the Cubs fans who watch my videos can maybe comment. But he had a nice year for being kind of just thrown to the wolves. There's Justin Turner, Oscar Mercado, future, future stars, excuse me, Garrett Cooper. We got Brad Hand, uh, Polanco, making a good play there, short. Domingo Santana, I believe he is on a new team right now, maybe Cleveland. Evan Longoria still going strong. Um, don't know how much more he's going to keep going, but him and Posey are both kind of getting towards the end of their careers. Evan's had an awesome career. That one, man, I don't know what year it was, 2011 maybe, that final day of the season when all that craziness went down and he hit that home run in the ninth inning to get them in the playoffs and the Red Sox lost to Baltimore and then the Cardinals like blew a save against the Braves. Man, that was crazy. That they made a documentary about that craziness on that last day of the season. I think it might have been 2011. I could be wrong. Jordan Zimmerman had a rough year last year. Here's another rookie, Abraham Toro. I believe he's actually Canadian. Uh, it says that on the back of his card. I've looked that up before, yeah. He is from Canada. And so we have four rookies right now. Pretty good ratio so far. And we've got two pretty good ones with May and Horner. Alberto, Alberto Mondesi went by Raul Mondesi his first year. Um, he actually made his Major League debut in the World Series in 2015 against um, the New York Mets, and I believe it was Noah Syndergaard. His first career at bat came in the in the World Series. He went by Raul Mondesi then. He is not actually Raul Mondesi Jr., although Raul Mondesi is his dad. Um, now that he's been established in the Major Leagues, he goes by Alberto. I think that's his middle name. But he is Raul Mondesi's son, for those of you who watched him play for the Dodgers all those years in the 90s. There's Jose Urania. Uh, Randy Arozarena, I believe he might be on Tampa Bay now. I could be wrong. I think he might have been part of the trade for Jose Martinez. But we've got another rookie there. That's five rookies. We're doing pretty well on them. Eric Fetty, who's a pretty good pitcher. Didn't get a lot of playing time last year for Washington, but he was pretty solid for them. There's our Cleveland Indian team card celebrating a win. We've got Oakland Athletics. we got Robbie Grossman, who's gone from Minnesota out to Oakland. We've got Jalen Davis. Here's another rookie card. So that brings our total up to one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll put him right here. We got Jameson Tyon. And enough of these landscape cards. Andrew Miller trying to have a bounce back year. There's the Red Sox. Maybe their opening day celebration. There's a team card of the Phillies. Reese Hoskins celebrating. We've got another Manny being Manny here with Tatis and Machado and Hosmer there. And hopefully that's enough of the landscape cards for a while. we got Sandy Alcantara, who's pretty talented. I believe he was traded from St. Louis to Miami. Don't remember what trade that would have been. But I believe he got traded. Yeah, it says he was signed by the Cardinals. Can't remember right now what trade he was involved in to get himself to Miami. There's Francisco Lindor. Don't believe I have that card yet. That's a nice one. Jose Barrios. Stud pitcher. Probably the ace of the staff for Minnesota. Alright, now we're going to get down to the Nitty gritty here, guys. We'll do a few more base cards and we'll get to those inserts and see if we've got anything nice in this one. We got Luke Jackson and Mike Talkman, who was a pretty nice surprise for the Yankees last year. We got David Price, who's now in Los Angeles, part of that trade. Boston kind of got some relief from his salary, sent him to the Dodgers. Roman Quinn, a speedster in that throwback jersey for Philly. Alex Colome, who was very good, one of the league leaders in saves last year. Scheduled to be the closer for the White Sox this year. Joy Lucchesi. Uh, kind of an up and down, but has a lot of talent. We got an upside down. Pete Alonzo, league leader. Obviously led the league in home runs. The National League, I'm sure that's what that is. You can see there he hit 53, which was the rookie record. Broke Aaron Judge's record very, very late in the season. Merrill Kelly came back from Korea and had a pretty nice year last year for Arizona. There's Ken Giles, who was very good after kind of a up and down season there for a while. 
Got himself sent to Toronto from Houston after struggling a little bit. Glass now, who was a stud last year. Look for big things out of him. There's Kikuchi, hoping to have a better year this year. Soroka, the Gold Cup, Canadian, was a very good last year, finishing the Cy Young and the Rookie of the Year voting in the National League. Adam Frazier. Okay, we got Tommy Edmond, who was just a complete spark plug for the Cardinals last year. Fegley behind the plate for Oakland, and then here we go. It's time for the inserts. Uh, let's see what we got. We got the 1970s best, Jim Catfish Hunter. One of the best pitchers of the 1970s. We've got Joey Votto, 1985 design here, 35th anniversary. Hopefully Votto can bounce back. He kind of had a rough year these last couple years. Power numbers have gone down. His strikeout numbers have gone up. Um, one thing you could always count on Votto was to have a great on-base percentage and be really patient at the plate, but he kind of struggled last year and the year before in that category. Okay, we're here for the Turkey Reds. We've got George Springer. We've got Yuan Makata. Here's Josh Hader. Gio Urshela. And Yachty. Okay, there's our five. Uh, these Walmart cards or packs always have the Reese Hoskins inserts. I believe there should be two. There's Breakout Talent and Pop in the Clutch. And here we go. Here's our Chrome insert, the 1950s. Decades best, Warren Spahn, big left-handed pitcher, starting pitcher for Atlanta. Here's our Goldschmidt as our chrome turkey red. And last but not least, oh, we got ourselves a gold, Isan Diaz. Um, this one is a little white corner up there at the top. It's the gold Isan Diaz. I believe his father was the one who was in the crowd when he hit that home run on his very, very first major league game, which kind of made some news um, around baseball. It was a really neat moment to see. And then I've got one more behind us, it looks like. Oh, we got a Pete Alonso to finish it off. Um, that's a nice one. So let's just double check. The Isan Diaz is numbered since it's the gold card, 308 out of 2020. Um, and then it's the Pete Alonso. I don't believe, no. Sometimes you'll get the advanced stats ones that look the same on the front but are numbered on the back. This is not advanced stats. It was just the card that was right behind all the inserts. That's actually the last card in the set. This is a 350 card set, and you can see this is card number 350, Pete Alonzo. So overall, there you have it, guys. Uh, 2020 Tops Series 1 opening day, or not opening day, 10 of Mookie Betts. Uh, it, this one is just kind of average, I would say. Nothing too crazy in this one. Um, not the greatest pulls, but pretty solid overall. If you're a Dustin May, Nico Horner fan, we got the two um, Pete Alonzo cards. Pretty nice, and... Uh, for $15, not a bad investment. If you see these hanging around your Walmart, I'm sure some of them still uh, are, are hanging around your stores. You may want to give them a check and see what you can find in them. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys with another video shortly.